Kia ora, internet. There's finally starting to be some signs of spring. Well, very early spring. But it is so cold still. So I was very glad someone I volunteer with made me a hat. It's in subtly trans colours. <laughs> It's very warm and toasty. I definitely appreciated it, especially because the evening she gave it to me was such a cold and bitter night. It's great to have a hat to wear home. I asked her if I could buy her some wool or something to say thank you, but she said, no, nah, just make something using some craft you use instead. So I think I'm going to make a little mini quilt to say thank you. And as the charity we both volunteer with is a rainbow charity, I am of course going to make a rainbow quilt for a well, rainbow mini quilt. <laughs> Something small that I can do in a day. I already have a rough idea in mind, so my first step is going to be to pick out some fabrics. I want the rainbow to be really bright and scrappy, because she always wears bright colours, and I just like making things scrappy. I'm going to go with the six colours of the traditional pride flag, and I'll use six fabrics in each colour, so I get a square quilt. I want there to be just enough contrast between the fabrics to give it some interest, while still reading as a single colour. I'm cutting a three and a half inch square from each fabric, which will give me a finished mini quilt that's about 18 inches square. That feels like it'd be a good size. I had the idea of adding little sparkles across the quilt by randomly snowballing a corner of each block, so I want a contrasting fabric for that. The obvious fabric to use would be white, but I don't just want a solid white, that would be boring. I think any of these could work colour-wise, but I also need to think about the scale of the patterns. There's only going to be a tiny triangle that will show, so there's no point in using something like that cat fabric, where you won't even be able to tell they're cats. The stars are much better. They are small enough to be able to see their stars, and it still reads as mostly white, but it pulls in the rainbow colours to make it more interesting. I don't have much of that fabric, but I think there should be enough for the snowballs. I only need 36 squares, one for each block, and I'm going to cut them at one and a half inch square, so pretty small. I'm not paying too much attention to which corners I'm adding the snowballs to. I'm just trying with the directional fabrics to not always have them on the same corner. As I lay out the blocks, I can rotate the non-directional fabrics so that there aren't too many snowballs clustered around a point. I want them to show as little triangles, not big diamonds. And I want them to look like they're randomly scattered across the quilt. I like that. Definitely has the effect I wanted of sparkles of light across the rainbow. For the quilting, I'm just going to stitch in the ditch between the blocks and then make little curved stars at the intersections to play on that idea of sparkles. Okay, I didn't think about the fact that curving the corners would make the blocks kind of look like circles. But I like the effect, even if it wasn't quite what I planned. This is one of the fabrics I auditioned for the sparkles. It wasn't quite right for that, but I think it's going to make a really good binding. turned out pretty good for a bit of a rush job. Hopefully she's gonna like it. 
Stop. Stop meowing at me. I'm trying to record. Yeah. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Ka kite anō, internet. -y.